Hey computer science students, you should be getting paid for internships. And if this is news to you, then I recommend watching the rest of this video. Now, I don't know if y'all have heard of a fellow YouTuber and becoming a friend of mine, Joshua Fluke. You may have heard of his corporate cringe series and, and those types of videos that he makes, but there's one point that he always makes and that internships need to be paid. Now, I've made a handful of videos here about internships, how much money I made, how to get one, how I got one at a Fortune 500 company and how I got an internship at NASA. While that may be a mild flex, that is not the intention. I have probably said in each and every one of these videos that you should be getting paid for internships. So when it comes to that message from Josh, I 100% back it. And I just wanna further prove that, especially as computer science interns, you should be getting paid. Full disclaimer, I have had one unpaid internship. That is because I somewhat knew the owner of this company. He doesn't have internships available, but I was like, can I please come at least like look over your shoulder for a week? And he let me come look over his shoulder for a week. So that is the only caveat. It wasn't me doing a whole semester's worth of work for another company and then making money off of my work. It was just me kind of asking for a free job and to look over someone's shoulder that has been in the industry for years. But my second computer science internship was at NASA. Now, technically it was at a, it was a contracting company for NASA where I got paid around $15 per hour to do that job. I worked in the atmospheric science data center and I rewired and organized every single server in there. So even a contracting company looking to fulfill an internship position at NASA on a NASA contract paid me money. But what if you were to work at NASA? I am here at intern.nasa.gov. I scroll down and I saw this uh, frequently asked questions, general questions, are internships paid? They say the majority of interns received a stipend award, but there are some volunteer opportunities noted in the project descriptions. So I'm like, what is a stipend award? I looked that up and it appears, at least at the NASA internship project at Glenn 2019-2020 internship sessions, stipends are based on students' academic levels at the start of their internships. The fall and spring sessions, undergraduate students receive a stipend of $11,680. If you're wondering, that is across a 16 week session. So $11,680 divided by 16 weeks is $730 per week. Assuming you are working 40 hours per week, that is $18.25 per hour. Now I don't know about you, but that's a pretty solid amount for being an intern when there are other places trying to get you to work for free. Or if you were to work there in the summer, which is a 10 week session, you would make $7,300, which I mean, obviously quick math, you can see that that is also $730 per week, same exact amount. Besides the fact that you should be getting paid at internships, there's a couple takeaways from this particular job. One, it's NASA, so they are, they're federally funded by the United States government. You know, it's not a private business that really needs to worry about the bottom line, but eh, take with that what you will. Also note that it's NASA. Everyone wants to work at NASA. They could literally charge people to be interns at NASA and people would still apply and take the job. Now let's take a look at a private company. Mind you, this is a very big company. It is Norfolk Southern, but I bring them up because I worked at Norfolk Southern as an intern for two semesters. It was a co-op program. If you don't know, Norfolk Southern is this entire railroad system right here. In 2019, they had 160 interns, 102 in the office, 58 in the field. And by in the field, they're meaning like the railroad terminals and then 50 app dev interns. But regardless, credit hours determine monthly compensation. So that is obviously freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or graduate student, ranging anywhere from $2,500 per month all the way up to $3,300 per month for an undergraduate student. And for a graduate student, $3,666 per month. So just to compare with these numbers, we can easily figure out how much you're making per hour because $2,500 per month, they're 12 months in a year, and the average individual works 2,080 hours per year. So you're making $14.42 per hour. Obviously, you're not gonna be working there the whole entire year. Since this is a internship, you're gonna be working there for about 10 to 12 weeks during the summer, maybe 16 to 18 weeks during the fall or the spring. And remember, this is as a freshman. It only goes up from here. So as a senior, this is like a salary of $39,600 per year divided by the average hours worked. And that is $19 per hour if you are interning at Norfolk Southern as a senior. Now, I don't know if you noticed this tab being open, but this company has this big old tower in uh, the middle of Norfolk where I used to work and where I went to school. And they kind of own all of these different companies, a very notable one being homes.com. But I remember doing some research into them because they did web and mobile development. So during my time at college, I was trying to figure out computer science internships that were near me. This was near me. 
computer science. All right, now I can't find any internships listed and I've tried every little search term or just kind of searching through all of their jobs. I don't see anything that has to do with intern or co-op. So it looks like either they don't list them on their own site or they no longer have internships, maybe because of COVID, I'm not sure, but they didn't pay you anything. I was friends with somebody who actually went to work at Dominion Enterprises knowing they didn't pay anything, but they came from a richer family and their parents paid them, the, the student in this case, to take that job because they thought it was a good job. So just so you figured out, the parents of the student are paying the student to go to this job that isn't paying them. It was the most confusing thing I think I'd ever seen, but I guess it's just kind of a, it's a different world than what I live in. All that to say, unless you are rich and you don't really have to worry about money, but even still, you should be getting paid as an intern, especially when you're a computer science student. In this video, I'm just trying to prove to you that there are so many different opportunities out there. I know I only listed like two or three technically, but just do some research, talk to your advisor, talk to other computer science students, and you'll be able to find an internship that fits you and that pays you money as well. So that way, if you work one entire session at NASA, then maybe you can afford books for that semester. If you like this type of content, leave a thumbs up. Also, if you like this type of content, follow Joshua Fluke because he makes a lot more of this content. I just, I just feel like I have to reiterate this point every now and then, and that's what I'm doing here. Plus, my last video addressed to you computer science students got a handful of views, so kinda wanted to capitalize on it. I think that's all I have to say on the matter.